All right, so what is a profile in Salesforce? A profile is a group or collection of permissions or configuration settings that can be assigned to a user which decide the amount of access a user will have in the system. A profile controls permissions like object permissions, field permissions, user permissions, tab settings, app settings, Apex class visual force access, page layouts, and a lot more. Now what is the difference between standard versus custom profiles? By default, Salesforce provides a range of profiles and these profiles are called standard profiles. We cannot delete them, but can tweak them to add or remove some permissions. Some good examples would be read-only, standard user, solution manager, contract manager, system administrator. Well, on the other hand, any profile that is made by users from scratch are called custom profiles. If there are no users assigned to a custom profile, these can be deleted. Now, can two users have the same profile in Salesforce? Well, yes, two users can be assigned the same profile in Salesforce. Can a user be assigned to two different profiles in Salesforce? Well, the answer is no. A user can only be assigned to a single profile in Salesforce. How do you set login hours and login IP ranges for users in Salesforce? Now, login hours and IP ranges are both profile level configurations. You can set specific login hours for each day and Salesforce won't allow logging in except for those hours for the profile that has been configured. Similarly for IP ranges, if the IP ranges defined are outside for the user who's trying to log in, Salesforce does not allow that either. However, login hours can also be set by the user under the personal settings and this setting specific to the user who configures it. What are roles in Salesforce? So almost every business has a role hierarchy of users in the system. To manage access and visibility based on the roles, role hierarchy can be configured. Users assigned on top of the hierarchy can access data of their subordinates via role hierarchy. Salesforce provides some standard roles of business caters, but users can also create roles and assign them to users. What is the difference between profiles and roles? On user creation, a profile is mandatory to be assigned, whereas a role is not. So profiles determine which objects, fields, etc. a user can access and roles determine what records a user can see relative to others in the organization's hierarchy. A user can only be assigned to a single profile but can be assigned to multiple roles. But in that case, the role with the highest level of access is given to the user in the system. What are permission sets in Salesforce? Permission sets are more or less similar to profiles, but a permission set is used when specific permissions are required by some users and those permissions cannot be assigned at the profile level. The main difference between profiles and permission sets is that a user can have only one profile assigned but can have multiple permission sets assigned to it. So can a permission set be assigned to multiple users? Well, yes, a permission set can be assigned to multiple users. Can a user be assigned to multiple permission sets? Yes, unlike profiles, a single user can be assigned multiple permission sets.